Ryan Peters here with you for the Weather Extreme video for the last day of 2009, December the 31st, 2009. Tomorrow, it'll be a new year, so happy New Year's Eve. Before we get into our current conditions, I wanted to take a look at my temperature trace yesterday. I was forecasting uh, highs around 50 to 51, and interestingly enough, uh, Birmingham Airport and my location got to 49, so the forecast wasn't too bad, but I did underestimate the... Uh, effects of evaporative cooling. Notice how we peak around 49, it drops off and levels off just above 47, and then it begins to fall. And that's the evaporative cooling because it was right around noon that the precipitation began to fall, uh, moistening the atmosphere from above down and, uh, and cooling things off a little bit. And I certainly did uh, underestimate that because I expected our temperatures in the afternoon to be mostly around 50 degrees. So, But kind of an interesting uh, you know, look back at the forecast. All right, here's current conditions. Our Skycam image, and here's the one from Gulf Shores and a little foggy down there. We can just barely see the Gulf of Mexico. We can still see the buildings, a little foggy in Birmingham as we look out over the city complex there. And a little bit of fog showing up around the shopping mall at Meridian. On the surface map this morning, the surface low is moving along the Gulf Coast, and that will be uh, taking the rain and uh, the little bit of patchy rain that's occurring across the state out of the area. I think a lot of spots got on the order of about a quarter of an inch. Our, our shortwave trough is moving through and another uh, stronger shortwave is back over uh, the uh, Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. That will be moving our way and bringing much colder air. Right now, this morning, across the vast fruited plain of the United States, uh, we kind of have a 50-50 pattern. About 50% of the area is below 32, and about 50% of the area is above 32. I think my favorite number right now is that 70 down at uh, Key West. Across central Alabama, temperatures generally range from about 45 to 47, although Gadsden is reporting a 39 this morning. Precipitation should be ending from Birmingham eastward this morning. I think by this afternoon we will be rain-free across the central Alabama. Alabama. On the uh, watch warning map, a number of winter weather advisories and some winter storm watches and warnings. Uh, winter weather advisories all the way from uh, extreme southern Appalachians in the vicinity of Asheville all the way up to New York and Rhode Island. Uh, New York City, that is, and some advisories and some watches and warnings in effect for the northwest part of the United States, and then a winter weather advisory in effect for the Texas Panhandle as well as parts of southwest Texas as a little bit of uh, moisture gets squeezed out of that storm system. Not much moisture for us for the next several days, so we'll begin 2010 uh, dry and cold. Those will be the two watchwords. No organized severe weather is expected, although thunderstorms are possible over South Georgia, extreme southeastern Alabama, and northern Florida. All right, this is the 06 GFS model run. This is the 500 millibar pattern for uh, today at noon, and there comes our shortwave trough, and that's going to zip by very quickly. Uh, the uh, surface low, weak as it is, is uh, got most of the precipitation over off the southeast U.S. coast, and uh, we still have the possibility of maybe you know a, a little drizzle or uh, you know spits of rain out of uh, the clouds. But by January the 1st, 2010, oh gosh, hope I can remember to put 2010 on my checks. There comes and zips by that shortwave trough as it's uh, kind of phasing up there with the, the longer wave trough position. And that should help to uh, finally dry us out. And it looks to me like uh, there is the possibility with clouds tomorrow morning and temperatures getting much colder that we will probably see a few snow flurries. And we just seem to go absolutely gaga around here, go bonkers over any snow flurries. And I hope I, we all get a chance to go a few bonkers tomorrow with just a few flurries. But I don't expect anything in the way of any significance. We dry out on the 2nd, Saturday. Saturday, but notice 540 line uh, firmly established across central Alabama. So the cold air is here. Uh, the closed low anchors itself at least for a couple of days off the New England coast by the third or Sunday. And then uh, that uh, certainly helps to reinforce it as we see uh, energies rotating around it. At the surface, we noticed the 540, or at the surface chart, we noticed the 540 line approaching the Gulf Coast. So we stay pretty chilly. The uh, closed low uh, remains anchored on Monday off the New England coast, and there's pieces of energy uh, rotating around it, and those, again, help to reinforce that cold air. You see uh, one off the southeast coast and another one coming through uh, Illinois. Uh, that will uh, keep us uh, cold with the 540 line down around Apalachicola and the Gulf Coast area. So 
Now, by Tuesday, we get under a ridge, and so we might actually see a little warming. Now, put that in perspective now. Keep in mind that our highs and lows for the next several days are going to be on the order of 10 to 15 degrees below typical for this time of year. So by Tuesday the 5th, we might warm up a few degrees. As you see, the 540 line moves off the Gulf Coast, but we're not talking about a large warm-up. Uh, we're still going to be well below our seasonal values for early January. By the 6th or Wednesday, uh, the closed low that was anchored off New England finally begins to move out. And as it does, we begin to develop a new trough over the central part of the United States. And uh, that, again, will help to bring cold air. We'll warm up just a little bit or not. Uh, and warm up is relative here. OK, we're, we're still going to be uh, Tuesday and Wednesday will be our warmer days next week. But notice the cold air coming down into Texas. And if the GFS is right, uh, this could produce a storm that would come across the central Gulf. And this might produce a, a bit of a snow event for the southeastern U.S. But we're edging on voodoo here, so we'll certainly be watching that. Speaking of voodoo, let's go out into uh, the future here. And uh, the, the big thing I think that's important to watch here are trends. And, and the trend is, notice the northwesterly flow. The trend is we're going to stay cold. Uh, that's uh, the 500 millibar pattern, and we certainly have uh, the the, the uh, long wave trough position off the east coast and uh, pieces of energy like that one coming across the western Great Lakes, those will help to keep us cold. Notice the 540 line down in South Alabama. Then at the end of the period, uh, another big close low uh, up just to the northeast of New England with a big ridge in the western U.S., northwesterly flow across from Canada down into the southeastern U.S., and that certainly keeps us cold. And uh, that would look like there's going to be another uh, pretty good storm system uh, looking at the wrap-up of that low. But this is voodoo, and this is the middle of January. And certainly uh, after looking at the NAO yesterday, uh, I think cold is certainly the watchword. Well, I appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Expect to have the next one posted around by, by 8 or so tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great last day to 2009. Happy New Year's Eve. And Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.